What is periodization? Periodization is a process in geology that involves the replacement of organic matter or minerals by the mineral pyrite, also known as fool's gold. Pyrite is a common mineral composed of iron and sulfur, and it often forms in sedimentary rocks or hydrothermal veins. Periodization can occur through a variety of processes, including bacterial activity, hydrothermal alteration, or diagenesis. In many cases, periodization occurs in sedimentary rocks that contain organic matter, such as shale or mudstone. During diagenesis, the organic matter can react with dissolved iron and sulfur ions in the surrounding water to form pyrite. This process is often associated with reducing conditions, where oxygen is limited or absent, allowing for the preservation of organic matter and the formation of pyrite. Periodization can also occur through hydrothermal alteration, where hot fluids rich in sulfur and iron interact with the surrounding rocks. This process can occur in a variety of geological settings, including volcanic systems, or deposits, and hydrothermal vents. During hydrothermal alteration, the fluids can react with the minerals in the rock, replacing them with pyrite. This process can result in the formation of distinctive rocks, such as black smokers at hydrothermal vents, which are characterized by their dark coloration due to the abundance of pyrite. In addition to organic matter, periodization can also occur in other minerals, such as carbonate or sulfide minerals. During periodization, the iron and sulfur ions in the pyrite can replace the atoms in the original mineral, resulting in the formation of a new mineral with a pyrite composition. This process can have important economic implications, as it can lead to the formation of valuable mineral deposits, such as pyritic gold deposits. The process of periodization can also have important implications for the preservation of fossils. When organic matter is replaced by pyrite, it can be preserved in great detail, allowing for the study of ancient life forms. This process has led to the discovery of many important fossil sites, such as the Burgess Shale in Canada. In summary, periodization is a geological process that involves the replacement of organic matter or minerals by the mineral pyrite. This process can occur through a variety of mechanisms, including bacterial activity, hydrothermal alteration, or diagenesis. Periodization can have important economic and scientific implications, as it can lead to the formation of valuable mineral deposits and the preservation of fossils. How does periodization occur? Periodization is a complex process in which organic matter or minerals are replaced by pyrite, a common mineral composed of iron and sulfur. The exact mechanism of periodization depends on the specific geological setting, but there are several common processes that can lead to the formation of pyrite-rich rocks. One of the most common processes by which periodization occurs is through the activity of bacteria. Certain types of bacteria, such as sulfate-reducing bacteria, are able to use sulfur compounds as a source of energy. These bacteria can create an environment in which the concentration of sulfide ions is high, leading to the formation of pyrite. In some cases, the bacteria can directly catalyze the formation of pyrite by oxidizing iron compounds and reducing sulfur compounds. Periodization can also occur through hydrothermal alteration, a process in which hot fluids circulate through the Earth's crust and interact with surrounding rocks. In hydrothermal systems, the fluids are typically rich in sulfur and iron, which can react with the minerals in the rock to form pyrite. This process can occur in a variety of geological settings, such as volcanic systems, or deposits, and hydrothermal vents. Another process by which periodization can occur is through diagenesis, a process in which sedimentary rocks are transformed into sedimentary rocks through the action of pressure, temperature, and chemical reactions. During diagenesis, Organic matter can react with dissolved iron and sulfur ions in the surrounding water to form pyrite. This process is often associated with reducing conditions, where oxygen is limited or absent, 
allowing for the preservation of organic matter and the formation of pyrite. In addition to organic matter, pyritization can also occur in other minerals, such as carbonate or sulfide minerals. During pyritization, the iron and sulfur ions in the pyrite can replace the atoms in the original mineral, resulting in the formation of a new mineral with a pyrite composition. This process can have important economic implications, as it can lead to the formation of valuable mineral deposits, such as pyritic gold deposits. The process of pyritization can also have important implications for the preservation of fossils. When organic matter is replaced by pyrite, it can be preserved in great detail, allowing for the study of ancient life forms. This process has led to the discovery of many important fossil sites, such as the Burgess Shale in Canada. In summary, pyritization is a geological process that involves the replacement of organic matter or minerals by the mineral pyrite. This process can occur through a variety of mechanisms, including bacterial activity, hydrothermal alteration, or diagenesis. Pyritization can have important economic and scientific implications, as it can lead to the formation of valuable mineral deposits and the preservation of fossils. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.